Hi, my name is Eliza and I'm a youth worker for CAMS in Tamworth and today I want to spend some time talking to you about how to manage your anxiety during COVID-19. So in life it's totally normal and natural for us to think and worry about things. And that can range from what are you going to have for dinner, what are you going to wear, to what GCCs and A-levels you're going to be taking and maybe even the kind of person you want to be when you grow up. And obviously good old COVID-19 is another thing that we might find ourselves thinking about and even worrying about. You might be trying to watch the news so you can understand more. Maybe you're not watching the news at all to try and avoid it. Either way, chances are it's something that's on your mind. But here's the thing, actually spending time thinking about a situation, something in the future happening, isn't necessarily bad. Actually what makes it bad is when we spend way too much time thinking about it, we overthink it, we overprocess it, and that inevitably leads to us worrying about it and potentially causing you some anxiety. So with that being said, what are we going to do about it? How are we going to make sure that you spend the right amount of time thinking about either COVID or another situation that you're going through that doesn't then lead to you getting incredibly anxious and worried? All right, first things first, set aside some time. I want you to set aside about 30 minutes in your day, every single day, not before bed, where you're going to allow that to be your space, your time to think about the things that are worrying you. And make sure that space is safe for you. So whether that's going to be in your bedroom, outside in the garden, in the kitchen, it doesn't really matter as long as it's a place where you feel comfortable enough to start opening up about your thoughts and your feelings, whether that's going to be you writing them down or you're doing some drawing or artwork. It's important that in that moment, you're taking the time to think about what is worrying you and putting it down in some way, shape or form. Now, when you've done all that for 30 minutes and you've had that time to worry and to think about the things that are bothering you, here's what I want you to do put it down. And I could already hear some of you saying, Eliza, that is easier said than done. It's not that simple. And you're absolutely right. I know it's not. I know it's easier said than done. But hopefully the more that you do this exercise, the easier it will be for you to contain and manage your anxiety outside of that worry time. And it gives you the chance to begin problem solving the things that you're worrying about, whether that's concluding that there's nothing you can do about it and it's something you just need to step away from, or whether actually there is something you can do about it. And it hopefully will help you start to piece together those steps you can make in order to help you worry about the situation a lot less. Just make sure that outside of your worry time you're using things like positive distraction techniques and mindfulness to help keep your mind off the things that you're worrying about. You also might want to start filtering out some of the information that you get around things like COVID. Because whilst it's good to have information, sometimes too much information can just lead to more anxiety. So maybe get your friends and family to start filtering out that information for you, only giving you the information that you need as opposed to maybe giving you the full picture. So remember, it is perfectly natural and normal to worry about things and to spend quite a lot of time thinking about them. And whilst we can't make all those worries and thoughts completely disappear, what we can do is put things in place to try and contain it and manage it so it doesn't ruin the rest of our day. So if you do want to know more about things like positive distraction techniques or mindfulness, we'll pop some links in the description box below for you to check out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon.